Welcome back to the Metal Scrapper channel. Today I will be melting some roofing material. Got some zinc and I tore away this piece from my bigger piece. You can clearly see it's a piece of some roofing material. But uh, this uh, way it will not fit my crucible. So I make it in small pieces. I will do it off camera. That's the boring part. And when it's all uh, compact, just like with the LED I did. You can see the LED melting video in the upper right corner of the screen. Now I will make this compact. But first we have a small problem. My sunscreen just collapsed. So yeah, I'm going to remove that. I think it's time to buy a second hand one which is a little bit more modern first i'll remove the sunscreen make some room to melt and then we're off melting some zinc so sit back and enjoy this video okay so before uh, melting the zinc need to make some space like i said i think i will uh, remove this sunscreen and reuse this this is pretty good material it's a sunscreen for the chicken coop because when it's very sunny they don't have a good place to hide for the sun this should be perfectly uh, suited for that and we can fold it up in smaller pieces and store it Alright, so this went like a hot knife through the butter. Really awesome. If there are some pieces left that will not fold into uh, compact pieces, I might grind some uh, stuff extra, but I think I will hammer it a little bit and make it compact for the melt. Alright everybody, this is uh, the next day. It's already evening. Got about one hour of daylight uh, left. So this could be a melt with uh, low light conditions. Really curious how this will be uh, with low level of light. But I made everything compact. Yeah, if I'm guessing this will be around 7 kilos of zinc. And I think we will uh, have a total of 5 kilos of clean zinc. I think there will be a lot of dross to be scooped away from this stuff. But uh, yeah, let's start the furnace. Melt some zinc. Going to make a lot of small ingots. You will see uh, next week why I made these small ingots. All right, let's start up the furnace. Okay guys, I stopped 
the, the melding and the pouring. I did not film this pour. What a terrible weather. Damn. So I'm going to clean all this stuff up. And it will not stop raining for uh, some while. So yeah, really. Man, I will try it again tomorrow. Right, this is it. See you back in a bit. Okay, guys, we're back in business. It's uh, dry weather. And let's hope it stays uh, dry weather for now. So I'm going to reignite the furnace. And I think we'll be uh, ready in uh, less than an hour.
right, so there was the last pour, made uh, two bigger ingots. I think we have a lot of uh, smaller ingots, and I want to melt with the electric furnace, but I'm not sure if these ones will fit the crucible. If the bigger ones fit the crucible, I could better have made a lot of big ingots. Save me a lot of time, but I'll get these last two out. I will not quench them, because my quenching pot is full of dross. There's a lot of slacks and dross coming off the zinc, and we can see the same coloring as with the lead, because there's a little bit of lead inside the sink. Yeah, because it was roofing material, and lead is used to yeah, get the two different parts of zinc together. So I will shine these up later on. It's uh, dinner time, so then uh, I'm off showing the end results and weigh up how much we melted today. Guys, can see this? Are you sure? Oh yeah, this is visible. So yeah, like I said, zinc is casting really awesome. Gets a lot of details. Not sure if you can see it with this ingot. Yeah, you can see all the lines from the graphite mold. So a lot of details. So I have a yeah, surprise in the coming next weeks with this metal I just casted. So stay tuned to my channel to see that. We involve these metals. Not this one. I think those two will get to the safe. Let's see how uh, much we ended up with. It's already 1698 grams. I'm not going to weigh each ingot separately. I'm just going to fill the scale. Right, so this is 5 kilos, or 5009 to be exact. Wow, so we have 9 kilos, 333 grams total. Well, I did not expect that much metal when I was weighing up the, the basket with the, the old zinc roofing parts. Man, this is really awesome. Really happy with the end result. So, well over 9 kilos of zinc. It's crazy, I did not expect that. There was a lot of dross coming off the uh, melt. But yeah, well over 9 kilos of zinc. And I will add, I think, 1600 grams to the safe. We're going with all the finger bars. I think with all of them. Not sure about that yet, but I will make some really nice casts coming uh, weeks. You'll see that. It's a, a little surprise. And if I say little, you can take that literally. So make your best guess what I'm going to make with these uh, nice zinc finger bars. They will fit my uh, electric furnace, so I won't uh, overheat this stuff. And we have some uh, real clean and beautiful metal to cast with. So let me know in the comments what you uh, think I'm going to be doing. This will be the video, melting some zinc. Hope you guys like this video. If so, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to see a melding video every week. I thank you a lot for watching, have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye!